Yes guys, good evening. Welcome back to the Dugout Football channel. Apologies, this is very, very late. I have been so, so busy today. I was meant to record this for a wee, wee while uh, earlier, but uh, not had the time, unfortunately. I've had lots on, so I do apologise. But welcome to match week 24 of the 2020-21 Scottish Premiership season. Now let's have a quick look at how I had done in last week. Uh, I got six points, uh, including one perfect score, which was Kilmarnock 2, Hamilton 0. So I got six points. Top scorer in the comments. And it has to be said, it was a big, big score this week. It was Reese Russell. And Reese, you got 11 points, including three perfect scores. Fantastic from you, Reese. Very, very well done. So Reese was the top scorer. And as we move into match week 24, there is uh, there is seven games to predict. And uh, there is a double header between S Celtic and Livingston. One at Parkhead and one at the Tony Macaroni Arena. So the first game to preview and predict is Celtic against Livingston. And the last five between the sides have resulted in two wins to Celtic, two draws and one win to Lily. And the last so that was a 3-2 win to Celtic. Well, Celtic have been ravaged by COVID-19, but they've only got themselves to blame. And the reason is they went to Dubai in the midst of a pandemic. What was going to happen? Unfortunately, one of the Celtic players tested positive, Christopher Julian, who is injured for four months, believe it or not. And, um, yeah, so... Celtic will probably play a similar team that they played against Hibs uh, the other night. So, this has added significance. Livingston, as I've said, have never won at Parkhead. But what a time for them to go to Parkhead. Unbeaten. Uh, it's basically 10 wins in 11 games. 8 wins on the trot. It is just unbelievable form from Livingston. And Davey Martindale did get the Manager of the Month award for last month totally totally deserved so what am i going to say i'm going to say this i'm going to say livingston will do it i'm going to say livingston will get their first win over celtic fingers crossed celtic one livingston two i'm going to go for i'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Livy against Celtic. And maybe Hamilton against Dundee United. Last five between the sides resulted in two wins to Hamilton, two draws, and one win to Dundee United. Last result was a 1 1 draw between the sides. Hamilton getting a, a 2 0 defeat to Kilmarnock. Yeah, they were on a good run. They were on a good run, but Kilmarnock, you know, put a dent to that. Dundee United were involved in a classic 2 2 with St Johnston. Goal of the match from uh, Lauren Shankland. Absolute beauty. Beckham esque it was. 50 yards. It was at the halfway line. Fantastic goal from uh, Lauren Shankland. And great, great draw between the Tayside rivals. So I'm going to say a very, very uh, good, good game uh, in this one. I'm going to go for a 1 1 draw between Hamilton and Dundee United. So, similar scoreline to the last game between the sides. Hibernian against Kilmarnock. Last five between the sides. So, then three wins to Hibs and two draws. The last result was a 2 1 win to Hibernian. Well, Hibs. 1-1 one, one with Celtic, uh, had to rely on a Kevin Nisbet last-minute goal to get them a 1-1 one, one draw with Celtic. Very, very good from uh, from Hibs to, to do that. Matt Macy in goals, looks like a very good signing for, uh, for, um, for Hibs, and it is looking very, very good for them as well. Kilmarnock have definitely picked up a little bit of form, 2-0 against Hamilton. Very, very good from uh, from them. So this is going to be a tricky test for Hibernian, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to the Hybees. I think they'll bounce back and uh, win this one as well. Ross County against Aberdeen. One win to Ross County and four wins to Aberdeen. Last result was a 3-0 win to Aberdeen. Ross County, well, you can say they were in the game against Livingston. Very, very unlucky to... Um, losing the end but two late goals from uh, Alan Forrest and Jack Hamilton who returned on loan from East Fife managed to get the points for Livingston Ross County rooted at the bottom of the Premier of the Premiership right now it's looking really bleak for them you'd have to say but it is still tight. It is still very, very tight. So we'll see what happens with that one. Aberdeen, uh, well, they were meant to play Livingston. Uh, but that game is obviously postponed because of heavy rain um, at the Tony Mac. And they lost 2-1 to Rangers as well. So they'll want to bounce back. And I expect them to bounce back. Uh, I don't. Th I think they might be without Ryan Hedges, though. I 
think they might be without Ryan Hedges. Um, sent off against Rangers, of course, so... We'll see what happens with that one. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Aberdeen. And then we have St Johnston against St Mirren, the Battle of the Saints. And it is one win to St Johnston, two draws and two wins to St Mirren. The last result was a 1-0 win to St Johnston. St Johnston, well, they had a 2-2 with uh, Dungeon United. Very unlucky not to win that game as well. Very, very good from them. Um, St Mirren, well, what can I say? 1-1 uh, with Mullerwell. Um Probably uh, got a dodgy penalty. But, then again, that, that, is, that is one thing you have to say for sure. Um, but they did get the draw in the end. And I think this has got draw written all over it. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw between the Saints in this one. And the Sunday game is Mullerwell against Rangers. Last five to the size of then five wins to Rangers. And the last result of a 5-1 win to Rangers. Well, Motherwell got a 1-1 draw with St Mirren. Um, good to see Graham Alexander back in Scottish football. Great to see him back in uh, Scottish football. Obviously, new manager Motherwell. Sacked unfairly by Salford City, as I've said. Motherwell have added to their uh, squad. They have signed Stephen Lawless, obviously of ex-Livingston, of course, from Burton Albion until the end of the season. So he returns to the club. He was in the academy when he was coming through there. So, very, very good for Motherwell. Rangers, well, a 2-1 win over Aberdeen. Very, very good. Big news is that Scott Wright looks like he's going to sign from Aberdeen uh, before the end of the, the January transfer window. So, it's a great signing for Rangers. Could Greg Stewart, though, go the other way? That could be something to uh, to look at as well. But uh, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Rangers. Rangers just absolutely on fire right now. And they could add to their 21-point lead. And it could be 24 if uh, Livingston do beat Celtic. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Rangers. And obviously the final game is Livingston against Celtic. Because obviously these two are going to meet at the Tony Macaroni Arena. So remember you've got seven games to predict, not six this week uh, and the last five well obviously I've just read the last five and uh, the last result was a 2-2 draw between Livingston and Celtic at the Tony Macaroni Arena um, but Celtic will probably have a lot of their players back by then so what I'm going to say is I'm going to go for a draw in this one Livingston are really hard to beat at the Tony Mac I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw between Livingston and Celtic so Celtic gets something on their travels at the Tony Mac. So that is it. That is Match Week 24 done and dusted. As I've said, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And like Reese Russell, you will get a shout out in the next video. So Celtic 1, Livingston 2, Hamilton 1, Dundee United 1, Hibs 2, come on at 1, Ross County 0, Aberdeen 2, St Johnston 1, St Mirren 1, Motherwell 0, Rangers 3, Livingston 1, Celtic 1. And I'm going to say that that will be that for match week 24 and we'll see what happens in the next video we'll see what happens uh, with the results of that but uh, until then it's goodbye for me if you do like this content please hit that subscribe button smash the like on this video as well and i again apologies this is out so so late hopefully everyone gets their predictions in before obviously the games on saturday and we'll hopefully get you uh, in there as well but uh, until then it is goodbye for me and enjoy your uh, your feast of football we'll see what happens and i'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Enjoy the weekend's footy. See you there. Bye-bye.